Sommes en audience publique, Monsieur le Président. We're in public session, Mr. President. Now, Mr. Witness, just to start, uh, I understand that you were in the location number four. Could you tell us, uh, after having been in location number four, what is the number of the location that you went to? I went back to location number five, Your Honor. And after having been at location number five, what other location? Did you go to another location after that? I went back to location number one on 4th of January, Your Honor. Would you be able to tell us, Mr. Witness, if these uh, Kalenjin youths, were they, did they have any weapons with them? The same weapons that I saw in the road while coming is the same that I saw with few who were around me because it was almost dark. But they, they had rungus, bangas, and arrows, Your Honor. And what was the reaction of these uh, Kalenjin youths to what uh, they saying? What, what I heard is that they agreed with him and they told them that they will wait. They told him that they will wait. And just so that we can be clear on that matter, they were waiting for what? Mr. Kibor had told them for orders from above, and the youths agreed that they will wait. How much time did you spend at location number seven on that day? By the meeting, I didn't spend more than ten or six minutes, but I went to a, to a, a hotel there. I took a cup of tea before I proceeded to location number one. I'd like to go into private session for one question, Your Honor. Private session. Mr. President, we are in public session. Proceed, Mr. Garcia. Now, Mr. Witness, from location number seven, can you give us the number of the location that you went to after that? I went to location number one, Your Honor. And, Mr. Witness, did you encounter any problems in reaching? Location number one. There were no problems, Your Honor, but there were three other roadblocks to location number one, Your Honor. Now, in regards to these three other roadblocks, can you tell us what the roadblocks were made of? It was made up of stones and woods. Would, it, would you be able to, Mr. Witness, to tell us how many Kalenjin youth or who was at these, these roadblocks? They were not as many as they were in Ziwa. But they were about, because I, I, I talked with some units at location number one for a time, and they were about 30 or 40. And can you? They were about, because I, I, I talked with some units at location number one for a time. For me, I didn't have any problem because location number one was my home. Can you tell us, Mr. Witness, if these uh, Kalenjin youths were armed? 
Yes, Your Honor, they had arrows and fungus, Your Honor. Now, did you see anyone that you knew at these roadblocks? Nearly all of them, I knew them, Your Honor. Now, you mentioned, a few minutes ago, you mentioned seeing person number 20. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honors, if we could just go into private session for one question. The court officer, we are in open session, Your Honor. Now, there's just a spelling correction at uh, page 114, line 1, and I can provide that uh, afterwards. Now, now, Mr. Witness, what exactly did you see uh, person number 20 doing on that day at the roadblock? I saw him talking with the youths by the roadside, though there were other youths who were manning the road. Could you tell what they were speaking about? Personally, Your Honor, I didn't want to go there because person number 20 and I, we don't agree with each other, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Witness, were you able to go through the roadblocks and return back to location number one eventually? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Can you recall, Mr. Witness, when you, uh, on what day, and if you can, what time approximately you returned at location number one, to location number one eventually? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Number one, can you tell the court what you saw there? At that time of the night, I would say that my wife was the one telling me stories to some other Kalenjins who were in Damion. Now, Mr. Witness, uh, you say that your wife was telling you about uh, people, other people who were in the PNU. Uh, can you tell us what she, what she had been telling you about them? She was telling me about how their houses had been destroyed, how their property destroyed you. Did she happen to tell you when? these uh, houses had been torched and property destroyed? Well, I was even still in location number. Location number five, I received some calls from people from my area telling me that some houses which belong to PNU supporters as big torch, Your Honor. So just for the transcript, uh, page 115, line 14, uh, some calls from people from my area. Is that correct? Telling me how houses, is that what you stated, Mr. Witness? Yes, Your Honor. Now, these uh, 
houses that have been burnt of PNU supporters. These were PNU supporters of what ethnicity? You are challenging, Mr. And did you find out why the houses of Kalenjin PNU supporters had been torched? Your Honor, it was because they only supported PNU during 2007. And did you find out why the houses of Kalenjin PNU supporters had been Now, did your wife tell you who had done this, who had torched the properties, the houses of Kalenjin PNU supporters in your area? I didn't talk much with my wife that day, but in a few days that came is when I got in all information about what happened. Leon. PNU supporters and their houses being torched. Uh, did you receive any other information of other people being targeted? No, Your Honor. The following morning is when we had that the father of number so 18 yeah. had passed away. And I and went to his home to say sorry to him. Reaching his place with so many things that I don't want to mention. I'm sorry, Mr. Witness, we didn't, uh, we didn't get that, the, the first part. You said his place, but not what you said before that. Can you repeat it? I say that number 18, his father had passed away. You said, uh, no, Your Honor, the following morning is when we heard that the father of number 18 had passed away, and I and some villagers went to his home to say sorry to him. And after that, we didn't quite uh, get what you said, and it says his place, so many things I don't want to mention. I, Your Honor, I say that there are many things which happened, which if I mention, I I understand. I understand. Your Honor, if we can just go into private session for a series of questions on this. Private session. If I mention, I don't... I understand. I understand. Your Honor, if we can just go into private session for a series of questions on this.